All right, well, I hope you're doing better than I am. Uh, I decided to take uh, this lovely uh, Tobias Killer Bee out of its case and uh, play it today. And it is doing something really freaky. Uh, I got a problem with the electronics, and you will not believe what this thing sounds like. So uh, it's actually making a lot of distortion, uh, which is really weird from a preamp. Now, sometimes they'll do that when the batteries are low. So first thing I did was change the batteries. Uh, but uh, no, that's not it. So uh, you will not believe this. This thing sounds like a full-on bass fuzz pedal now. So uh, I'm actually going to kind of demo the thing for a couple minutes. It sounds actually kind of good as a distortion. However, I am going straight into my recording interface. There's nothing in between for a change. No, uh, no Zoom G1X on like I normally use. And the levels are green on the... Uh, I have a, a Focusrite Sapphire 6 USB unplugged into. So nothing other than this bass is making distortion and this bass should not make any distortion. So uh, you got to check this out. This is insane. How's that for crazy? Now, I know you're thinking there's like a bass fuzz pedal down here or something. No. So uh, there's actually just a problem with one of the potentiometers. Uh, it sound crazy, but let me turn this back up. So one, you can, you can kind of hear it if I, my beautiful Tobias bass is under there somewhere. Anyhow, what I found uh, see a little bit of fuzz there but anyhow So I tried cleaning this with uh, some contact cleaner, uh, also known sometimes as tuner cleaner. And uh, no luck, I think I just need to put a new pot in here. I need to get a new pot uh, to try that out. Uh, unlike a lot of preamps, at least the pot looks fairly simplistic. I think it's just got a few wires on it. So anyhow, uh, there you go. Uh, you know, like $1,100, $1,200 fuzz box. Yay. All right, hopefully the next video will be me fixing this thing.